Swali ni, will the boy that I was be proud of the man that I am? Ama the man that I am ana ushange kuwa the boy that I was. Hali ntichi ku stand on my own, just like a man, haka ni show. In a time now. Michael committed crimes in Langata, South B, South C, Mombasa Road, Rongai, Kawangware, Kilimani and other areas in Nairobi. From carjackings to armed robberies, his life in crime started when he was 12 years old. Kuna mboi nilikuwa naekea, nafa wanalipia kitu kidogo, kama asa wakienda kazi wakirudi, wananijenga. Sapa nilikuwa na wakea, na wakea, mimi niko shule lakini naona ni kama shule na nichelewesha, mimi nitaka nikue kama wawo, pia nikuwe nga na pesa, wala mbae vitu. Sapa wana sama lakia ni kuna hira mwari, sikuta mwari sa chubi mimi nitaingia kwa hiyo. Yo, kama saida mimi sina viatu, cheka wenye mchafua kuna viatu mzuri mzuri na mimi sina. Sasa nilikuwa nasomanga lakini najuanga tu. Kama shangu ndio letu kwa hivi by the end of kusoma, tengia tu kwa hiyo crime mimi nikuenge kama wale mabuu. Sasa ndio nilikuwa nawekea nawekea. Sasa nilikuwa nawekea wakikaa mkuichukua na nauliza, "Eh, sasa mimi nataka kuvuta mnavuta aje? Unashaka mimi nanavutanga?" Anavuta driga. Michael didn't finish school and his hunger to pull the trigger grew each day he safely kept the guns for the next assignment. He wanted his own gun after joining a gang of 22 boys. Hiring was his first option. Ndio nikupata kuna sasa kama kuja kama mtaa mali fulani kuna ule mtu wa kitambo anajulikana. Sasa ndio maendanga kwake. Sasa nakuliza nitaka bunduki kandi akupea muda akambesa kufanya siku fulani utakuja. Tena mali kwa bush, mali kwa cool, hata apiti sana mtakaa pale. Bei mtamekea pesa atakia bunduki alafu na test tunaweza kutumia. Most sasa sana mwenye kuambatikana sana ni Isili. Si ndio likuanga base yetu most kwa kienda. Kuna watu najuana nao sawa. Naweza pata kutoka kwao. Zili market tu. Si market tumanga bako chini kwa alafu kabisa huko ilikuwa kama na kesa training, sharp shooting, kama bush sasa kama hizi maeri ya ngongo hivyo. Kwa ndio tulikuwa tunafanya ma training huko. For Michael and other young initiates, Ngong Forest was the training ground. He took us deep inside the forest where they trained sharp shooting skills with their newly acquired guns. Kuna sikuulia hapa ilikuwa ilikuwa kwanza kujapa ilikuwa jioni kama saa 12 siku ya kwanza siku ya pili kujanga hapa kama na taxi kama pale ilikuwa saa saba usiku sasa ilikuwa alikuwa train mbwa tano sasa sasa kama ilikuwa anapiga 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 kwa bunduki nne kwa bunduki ilikuwa ya AK G3 na revolver mbili The training was only 10 minutes Gong Forest is a popular training ground for many other criminal gangs. Eh, mzaka kama sasa hii site hii time meka mpaka na pale wengine pia ndio wanatoka au mpaka wengine pia wako huko. Sasa kama mapara kama wako pale sisi fikiri liko pale kwa msai ni kwetu ni base yetu. Sasa wengine hawezi enda pale. Sasa watu wana train au kubwa ni kama wanajuana. Sasa nimeanga tripu fulani hiyo ni yangu. Tu kitaka ku train kama kuna mimi atuinanga pale. Sasa alikuwa ana place ya 440 kwa hii bush lakini bush ni same kitu ya 440. Transporting the guns is a huge risk, but Michael says the journey to Ngong Forest was always covered. 
Kimo na kuna siku kufika kwa barabara karao katifahamisha. Sasa mwenyewe alikuwa anatoni alikuwa mbele ya gari. Sasa jua aliongeaje na wao? Wana kwa timu akaanza tukaanza kwa kaanza na kwa. Michael was involved in carjackings and armed robberies. The lowest amount of money he made from crime was 26,000 shillings in one mission. Most of his friends lost their lives, killed by police or lynched by the public. He sought a bizarre solution to protect himself. Nongo ikare kutolea pale kijanganywa na madawa mengine kadhaa hapo tena kijanganywa na maji kumaka tena pale hivyo na mikuki mbako kijanganywa na mzingi kanipa lilambe sasa na hii ni kapoa tu hivyo ikafua kwani ilivua kana kitu kubwa sana kumenaka tena ikapoa tu hivyo ni kawaida sasa kasema hiyo dai mingi mingi sasa iko ndani na kuna kitaka alta road na kanipa kana mbese kidao kwenda popote kwani naenda mission siaiacha yesa hii sasa ndio kama mungu wako tena kama kuna hatari mbele wewe utakuwa unajua kwa watu wengine wao utakuwa na sasa mimi nilikuwa na sensing kwa na banga wazanya kumbele kadri lakini mimi rangu inaniambia kama uko hadi itakuwa chafu yani itakuwa chafu ni kama mnatana mpatikaniwe sasa mimi nilikuwa na sense nenda kuna siku kubrofi dawa inafanya kazi mtu alituambia ipo ni kuhakisha dawa inafanya kazi kwenda mission ni siku yako ya kwanza kama mshayekewe dawa kwani dawa yenyewe imekuwa kwa nyenye siku kwenda kwenda mission kama mshayetoka nitoka kama leo nitoka kwa usiku sababu yake tukaenda misho pala ngata huko hivyo eh pale na makarawa tukimzanga mimi sasa nilipitianga tu hapa kwa mwingine tulikuwa naye naikampika mguu kimbi sasa nilipitianga na makarawa naona mimi ndio hapa karawa ndio hapa lakini akapewa sasa naikani mimi kwa nae dawa yenyewe inafanya kazi sasa dawa yenyewe kuna ambiwa ni 15 years na 15k sawa hara ni mwaka mmoja kwa mmoja sasa kisha tena naenda kuniu Onyi Papa was lucky to have survived a mob justice when five of his friends were killed at high rise here in Nairobi after a robbery incident. So kwa sita kuna venye wenzangu walikuwa wametumia madaa so kuna dawa zile zile zinatumia zile kutupunguza maumivu dawa za maumivu sasa ile mtu akupiga akupigie sana hakuna venye una nini kuna hizo hisia kama yani umekufa ganzi as a bio chemist mostly chemist tuna una meza tu una meza zingine za kawaida na maji hivi so kinini hapo hivi baada kama kitu kama 30 minutes na feel yani ni kama yani yani uko yani dunia nyingine yani ime confuse mind hivi yani hakuna venye mtu anaweza kuambia zina kupea hiyo braveness sasa hata wasio kupiga hata waile nini hakuna venye unaweza feel unaweza una feel tu baadaye baada kumali yani baada kama one day hivi tuna feel hizo maumivu Ah, ndio sasa. Kama hata visu unadungwa lakini ufeel. Well, I know these drugs um by legal classification they are prescription only medicines. So it looks like these guys uh, find a way of beating the system so that they still get them but they should not get them that that freely. What the drug does to the body is to enhance or to potentiate the effect of um, a, a, a new, an inhibitory neurotransmitter called GABA. Now, to simplify that, uh, when anything inflicts pain or any um, uh, feeling on your body, the message needs to be sent to the brain through uh, chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. And they could either be inhibitory or excitatory. But this GABA, or in full gamma amino butyric acid, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So if you get something like these drugs that potentiates it, it means that a lot of senses will be inhibited. So people will not feel pain, they will not feel uh, that uh, injury to the, um, uh, the cells. Apart from that uh, inhibition of pain, they also enhance, um, I mean reduce anxiety, they reduce uh, panic. So these are people who can do anything and they will not really um, give a damn. They will just go ahead and do whatever they want to do. They will not panic, they will feel a bit courageous, at least for that moment. But later on they feel very guilty and they will come back to the, when they come back to their realization that what they are doing is not correct. Shiko Bomba is one of the female gangsters in a vicious criminal gang that has terrorized Nairobi residents for years. She finished Form 4 and joined the gang. She was responsible for spying and identifying robbery targets. Sisi kama wasichana, 
kazi yetu ilikuwa most, mostly ilikwenda kutafuta kwenda kutafuta mali wenzetu wataenda kuiba mali kuna mali mali kuna pesa alafu tena kubeba kwa sababu si wasichana inaeleweka saa zingine au wanga tu wanga wanga tusachiwi tukienda mahali so unapata si ndio tunabeba if ni gun panga visu si ndio tunabeba tuna vifaa unaweza beba kama mtoi unabeba mtoto alafu unamwe unaikapanga kwanza kisha unaika mtoto wanaume wako kwa wapasi kubeba bunduki sana au kwa kuwa na paswa so unapata si wasichana ndio tunabeba saa ya kwenda tena inategemea tunaenda wapi kama kuna security kali inabidi siende sisi ndio tunabeba ama tukibaki nayo si ndio tunaenda kulala nayo tena si ndio tunaziosha tunazipanguza yani tunazishitanga kuosha ku clean her parents have never known she was involved in violent crime for three years before backing out they didn't know where she hid the guns ni bunduki tu ndogo zikuwa kubwa kubwa ni bunduki dogo kama ak Mm. Bunduki ndogo. Hata kuna zingine mpaka unaweza ikata kwa wivu kwa nywele na beba. Kama umeweka wivu kubwa unafungia unaingizwa ndani. Wao wanajua kuingiza, alafu inafungwa vizuri. Saa zingine unafunga unafunga taban, umebeba bunduki. Mm. So ingekuwa rahisi ati mtu a notice. So tukua tukienda tukichia pata tushaiba kenye tunaiba tungekuja kwa meza kama hiyo inaitwa table unakuja kwa table mnapanga mkisha gawana pesa pesa mnagawana mwenye alipeleka sasa kama mimi nilienda labda mimi nimeenda mahali nikapata nyumba ya mdosi because most of the time unapata tun, sisi wasiana tunaweza enda kibarua umeitwa kuoshia mdosi manguo viombo kumoshia kumkumkumklinia kum, tu nyumba then ukishaingia kwa hiyo nyumba kazi yako si kwenda kuosha na kunini peke yake unafaa ucheck unaangalia anaeka api pesa ama kama aweki ani pesa zake ziko kwa ATM ama wapi nyumba iko na nini because tungekuja si pesa, pesa peke yake ndio tungekuja kuiba tunaweza kuja tubebe electronics kwa nyumba yako lazima ukienda kama dem kazi yetu sisi kama dem ulikuwa ukienda job ni lazima uangalie ni nini yenye kwa hiyo nyumba usitoke hivyo kazi yako pale ni kwenda hata unaradhi usiende kufanya kazi nyingine ulikupeleka wende ufanye kazi nyingine ndio upeleke information so kama mimi ningepeleka information share yangu ingekuwa kubwa kuliko wao wengine kwa sababu wao wengine kazi yao tu ni kuenda au mission yao ni kuenda mi kazi yangu ilikuwa ni kuonyeshana so most of the time ningepata mimi ndio mpaka nitatumika kwenda kufunguanisha kufungua getman kama nilikuja kufanya kwako leo kazi obviously nikirudi ni kuambi nilizau kitu utafanya nini utanifungulia and most of the time tuko tuna end up wame kill huyo getman kwa sababu akinijua si atakuja kusema kuna kuwa na msichana mwenye alitoka mahali fulani alikuja na ende ali, aliba kwa hii kwa hii state so most of the time tuko tunaua ilikuwa lazima wauwe wauwe huyo getman ndio si asi reveal so there's no need akuwe hai jua kikuwa hai atakuwa atatutress so hiyo ilikuwa inafanya tunakuua au maskari tunakuanga tunatuko na link up nao ukipata kwa ukienda kwa home ya mtu ukiongea na askari na akubali na atapata share kubwa yeye anakubali na anasema tu mkikuja muhakikishe mumenipiga na mumenifunga ndio hata mdosi akikuja anapata pia mimi nilifanywa nini nilifanywa something but mkienda na mimi mlete tu share yangu so most of the time pia tunapata ngao maaskari magetman ndio wanatupatia link the criminal gang confessed that police are sometimes involved in their activities the police pia wanahusishwa kwa sababu kama gangs zingine zilikuwa zinakosea tunaletewa tuna, tuna gani kutoka isili isili na askari anatuletea mm. Alikuwa analetea kwa sababu kwa group tulikuwa bado na leader muda wetu mkubwa so angeletea mkubwa na tena amrudishia na haya Shiko has witnessed countless women get raped by her criminal gang before robbing them and leaving them for the dead Before twende tu, tuibe kwa nyumba ya mtu tunaanza na kwa barabara highways tunasimamisha magari tunaiba kila kitu yenye uko ndani uko nayo ndani ya gari tunakuacha unaenda so in, in that situation tunakupata kama unatembea kama we ni chali ama we ni kijana sana sana ukitukipata wasichana tunawaibia na wao sio vijana watabaki tu wamejilea wame nao 
with other female gang members. They will often visit nightclubs on weekends where they target men and rob them. Sisi wasiana tulikuwa na kazi mingi sana. Tunaenda tu tunaenda kwa klabu, unavaa vizuri, but uko na dawa. Hiyo dawa ni riski juu utaiweka hapa. Unaiweka hapa kwa mdomo, hapa chini. Kisha ushaweka hapa chini, yule mwanaume mwenye unapatana na yeye, au ufai kumeza mate. Eh, ufai kumeza mate. Because hiyo dawa ukimeza utalala. So hiyo dawa ni mimi wewe kiku, wewe kama wewe ndio umekutana na wewe na niona yenyewe wewe unakaa uko na pesa na nimekaa na wewe kwa meza nitachukua drink yako ninaweza test drink yako venye ina test then nikichukua drink yako ni test ile yenye ilikuwa niweka hapo ninafanya nini na kutumbukizia so wewe utakunywa alafu utala utala alafu sometimes si hapo unaweza kosa kulala hapo unaweza naweza kakwambia twende lodging tukienda lodging ndio fanye nini ulale na ukilala ninaenda na kila kitu kila kitu yako na kuacha tu venye uko hata naweza kakuacha ukiwa uchi eh kama ulikuwa na ngo mzuri sinaenda nayo Konje and her husband were both involved in violent crime in a gang of five two females and three males her husband was arrested in 2011 and is currently serving a life sentence at Kamiti Maximum Prison. Tulienda Kayole kwa ba nyingine hapo. Huyo mzee tukamwambia tupe do akajaribu kubishana. Ile harakati ya kubishana ikabidi tumemtolea Bruce akasema hiyo ni namba mbili tufanye venye tutafanya abui na asarend tukabidi tumempiga kidi alafu sasa ile mraia akafanya nini akaanza kuivisha hiyo tu ndio uso naonanga niliponea chupu chupu Konje says she has nightmares of all the killings she participated in the worst was at a petrol station Mzenye nimechangia ni vifo tatu peke yake ya Langata na hiyo ya Kayole na ya West hapo Tamasha ilikuwa ni usiku kitu saa mbili hivi tulienda Nairobi West hapo kwa petrol station hapo karibu Tamasha ile harakati tulifikia huyo demu tulikuwa tumeenda kuchukua pesa hapo huyo demu akaanza kubishana ile harakati ya kubishana kuanza kupiga nduru waizi waizi tulibidi tumemuua na tukachukua dona tukaenda ilikuwa pesa ngapi ilikuwa 1120 Langata tulienda kuna mtu alituchorea akasema kwa hiyo nyumba kuna pesa huyo mtu amepata advance. Sasa kuenda kwa hiyo nyumba tukapata vijana huyo mama katufungulia. Leo kutufungulia huyo mama kaanza kupiga simu, kupigia maskari. Kupiga maskari sisi tukawalalisha chini. Kwanza huyo mama tukauwa mtoto wake mdogo. Alafu pesa zenyewe hata tu kupata. Tulibebanga tuko laptop peke yake. Atukaenda. Archie started carrying a Seska pistol while going to high school. No one suspected him because he was just a student, but he was deep into crime. The love for money, bling and clothes made him drop school and got baptized into the world of violent crime, sometimes as a hired assassin. Ilikuwa ni madam fulani kama alikuwa anataka kumadazi yake labda alikuwa anataka kumrusha mabiz na mado alikuwa anataka kumrusha tu maaset yani mashake vitu kama hizo akasema ni aje kama tunaweza gebonake kidi eh kakueleza kuwa nini nini saa u madam kamshoni aje kama tatoa ngiriso mbili atoe kiso kwanza alafu baadaye tukishamalizia atoe so hii nyingine living life on the edge Archie, like the rest of the other gang members have reformed and are hoping to live normal lives. The memories of what they have done over the years still haunt them. They hope to find redemption from whichever source. Dennis Okari, NTV.